Hi, this is Julia Gulevich from GLOG Software. In this video, I'll show you how you can use GLOG EasyMail and GLOG Analytics to send and track your email campaigns. The video assumes that you already have an account on GLOG Analytics and that you uploaded the redirect script to your website. So, open GLOG EasyMail. At first, you need to create a connection to your account from GLOG EasyMail. To do this, click on Settings, click GLOG Analytics tab, type your login email address, type your password, and click Test. If the test passes, click OK to save the settings. Now you can create your message. Click on New Message. Select an account. Select the right group. Type the message subject. And add your message content. As you see, I use my regular link in the email. So you do the same. Just create your content using regular links. When done, click on GLOG Analytics tab on the Edit Message screen and click on Enable Tracking. Now, if you are going to send this message as a new campaign on GLOG Analytics, click on Add New Campaign. Type a campaign name. It may be the message subject or something else. Optionally, you can type a tag for your campaign. Check the Use Redirect Script option and type the path to the redirect script on your website. Click Add. The campaign was added to your account on GLOG Analytics. As you see, the campaign is shown in the campaign field. Well, the only thing that you need to do now is add the unsubscribe link if you want to track unsubscribes and save them to your report. To add the unsubscribe link, put the mouse in the message where you want to add the link and click on click to insert unsubscribe link. Now go to the text part of your email and Add the unsubscribe link here too. As you see, the unsubscribe link includes the merge field. This field will be replaced by the encoded recipient email address during the message sending. This means that you will see the recipient's email addresses who will unsubscribe in your reports. So now the message is ready to be sent. Note that you don't need to replace your regular link with tracking link manually. And you don't need to add any tracking code to your message. GLOG email will do this for you automatically during the message sending. So now let's recap what you need to do. At first, Connect to your account from GLOG EasyMail settings. Then create your email using regular links inside. Click on Enable Tracking. Then add a new campaign. Add the unsubscribe link. And send the message.
the message was sent to my test group. Now let's log in to my account on GLOG Analytics and see if the campaign was added. Here is my campaign. As you see, there is the number of recipients for this campaign. This means that GLOG is email automatically reports the number of the recipients in the group to your account. If you don't use GLOG is email, you need to type the number of recipients manually. Let's open my campaign and see the tracking code and links that were used in the message. This code is used to track email opens, prints and forwards. As you see, there is the merge field. During the message sending, it was replaced by the encoded recipient's email address. Here is my link. It was replaced by this tracking link which also includes the encoded recipient's email address. Now let's check my test accounts and see how GLOG Analytics tracks email in real time. Let's open the message in my Hotmail inbox. The open was registered. Let's click the link. The click was registered. Now let's test the unsubscribe link. The unsubscribe was registered. Let's forward the message. As you see, one forward is already registered. Now let's go to my Gmail inbox and open the message. Let's click the link. As you see, one open and one click were registered. Let's click the unsubscribe link. The unsubscribe was registered. Let's print the message. As you see, one print was registered. Now let's go to my next inbox. Let's click the link. One open and one click were registered. So as you see, GLOG Analytics provides you email tracking stats in real time. You don't need to reload or refresh the page. Now let's look at some of my reports. Let's look at the recipient activity report. Here are the email addresses of the recipients who acted upon your message. There is a number of opens, clicks, prints and forwards for each recipient. Let's look at the link click activity report. Here is the link I used in the message. Let's see who clicked on the link. There are three email addresses of the recipients who clicked on my link. Each recipient clicked one time. Now let's look at the unsubscribe recipients. 
there are two recipients who unsubscribed. And finally, let's look at the email client's usage report. There are the email clients I used to open my message. And now I'll show you how you can manage the recipients who opened your message and who unsubscribed from your emails from glog is email. Let's go back to glog is email and open the address book. Click on glog analytics tab, click login. Select the campaign. I select my last campaign. The group name is automatically shown here. Now you can use the who opened and who unsubscribed menus. For example, you can copy the recipients who opened your message from the current group to a new group. You can add them to the group exclusion list or you can save them to a file. As to unsubscribe recipients, you can add them to the group exclusion list. Here are my recipients who unsubscribed and here they are marked with the red envelope icon, which means that these email addresses are on the exclusion list. Let's save these recipients to a file. And now you can remove the recipients who unsubscribed from your group completely. To do this, click on the home menu in the address book and click on the email list menu. Select the remove from current group option. And now select your file with the unsubscribe recipients and click open. As you see, those recipients were removed from my group. So here is how Glog is a mail works with Glog Analytics.